Nigerian singer then is the controversy for refusing to greet Chair President Buhari during National Award. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news for today, Ms. Riachon has three Nigerian popular Afrobeat singer, Deni Apata, for neither shaking nor greeting President Muhammad Buhari while receiving a national award. President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday conferred the National Honor Award on 447 persons at the International Conference Center, Abuja. Why at it? A singer, Tini Apata, refused having handshake with him. And because of this, a lot of people has started talking. Just like some useless APC members, another idiot from Igbo extraction has come out by name Okezi Atami. And he wrote, shame on you, Deni, or whatever they call you. You are a disgrace to all well trained Nigerians. You disgrace yourself and not to the office of the president. You dance to the tune of our youth who lack manners. Shame on you. You know, so on and so forth. Many of them were lamenting. But I'm quite touched by the same Okezi Atami who wrote Shame on You, Temi. Because this Okezi Atami is an Igbo man, right? And these are the Fulef who have in Igbo land. It doesn't matter how much he has. Because it's obvious he may make his money dubiously. Maybe from the so-called APC or from the so-called government. Igbos are always coming out to talk trash. That is why they are suffering Nigeria today. It's not about what they have. They can destroy, decide to destroy their business anywhere. You know, but how many stores have caught fire in Lagos? And nobody will do anything about it because they are their own world. And they should be ashamed of themselves. Every simple thing you see them coming out to talk. This young woman did what any man. People like Dubanj. Many of them who we are in that award could not do. And you have the audacity to insult her. Dubanj and many others are in that we are in that occasion. They are all ready to re receive their own award. But they went ahead to check that thing in Asoro. Who doesn't know his left or right? That thing, who has come not to use our money to release terrorists? Who has come not to pay our money to terrorists to come and attack us? That thing in Asoro is the problem we have today in Nigeria. That thing, who said that he going to treat those with 5% vote and those with 95% vote differently? How can Tini have handshake with such person? And with some of you who claim that she does not deserve that award, who told you that? She deserved it. She worked hard for it. But that does not mean that he has to check the president of the fair state after committing no atrocities, killing innocent South protesters who protested for that. What are you talking about? Some of the musicians are now somewhere in Europe. Looking for a way to survive because what? Because they participated in NSAS protests. What was bad about it? They were asking for new Nigeria. Was it because they are not politicians? After politicians, it concerns anything goes. But when it comes to the youth who want a good thing to themselves, they will start killing them. And some of you claim that uh, Tenny Father was one of those. Who harasses random people for disrespecting the national anthem when being sunk? And here was his daughter disrespecting what he stood for. 
I believe this one is a Yoruba man. But you should be ashamed of yourself. If you don't know what Tenny did was what every other musician and youth supposed to be doing. Because that in Asso Rock is not a president but a killer. A terrorist, a common terrorist, a common theft who has given our money to the terrorist in Nigeria. People are killing terrorists, but his own. He recruited them into the military. Because why? Because they are his kinsmen. And you expect respectable Nigerian youth to shake such man so that he will give them barrier, they will start suffering their life. What of Anthony Joshua? Who shaked him, bowed down for him as if he was his God? Today, Anthony Joshua cannot win any common boxing competition anymore. He has continued to fail. But when that guy came out, he was winning. Yeah, president is a failure. I am the one talking it. Saying it. If not some people, they said talking it. Why should we continue to deceive ourselves? A man who has used billions of billions of naira to pay terrorists in our land. Terrorists that came from our side that he's supposed to be eliminated. But because he believed in one thing that all Janja, we are the same. That Nigeria is their land. This man has continued to use our heart and money gotten from our resources in our land, Biafra land. Existing before the British government came. He has continued to use the money to pay terrorists. Of recent, he paid not less than 170 million just to release few train attack women and men kidnapped by flying terrorists. But even after that, they did not release the whole guest. Again, he has released 100 poker rounds and flying terrorists just for him to get the remaining 23 guests, 23 uh, 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 victims. And you want people to respect such man? The same man is going around the Nibo land in the massacre spree. A man who calls himself president, he will first of all come out, he will threaten the, the, the ethnicity that is going to come after them. But he has never won the threaten the Fulani terrorists or Book Haram that is coming after them. Rather, he planned with them. They will go to Kujep, they will break the place, they will pack their image, they will release them. These are the same place close to Abuja. And you expect people to respect such president of an impostor who is impersonating one man who died several years ago, buried in shadow grave in, 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 in somewhere in Saudi Arabia. Both Shirubas who are against this young girl or young woman, whatever I call her, and both Hebrews who are against her, you are all mad. She did what none of you could do if you don't know. She did what none of you could do. Some of you call Nigeria beloved country. Which beloved country? Beloved country without light, without constant electricity, without uh, pipe, pipe bone water, without good road, cabas everywhere, high nights are jackass surrounding him, killing, maiming, raping from flood men. And you want us to continue to stand and watch you commit all these atrocities. And because a young girl who came for a word that she deserved refused to greet you, shake you, have a handshake of you. Because of that, she has done battle. Go and first of all, keep your country in peace. Keep those Bukaram tormenting our people. Keep those Janja with tormenting our people. Then after that, she will come back and shake you. Mad people everywhere. All of you trying to saw this young lady, you don't know your left and right. And I thank some of them, people like uh, 
people like uh, F. S. Yusuf. According to him, he said, people are not worried that a fair minister of education is getting a national award. They are worried that Pastor Keze, Ezra Ulubi didn't dress to impress her that and the Teni didn't the bear for Emperor Buhari. <laughs> yes, this is the kind of people I want and I like. And Duke of Africa said, Teni did what most of you so-called celebrities have no guts to do. Nigerian youth has constantly received disrespect and abuse from Nigerian government. What does APC blind bat mean? That she disrespected the president. I thought they said respect is reciprocal. Certainly. Respect is reciprocal. But they will not abide, abide on that. This was how they massacred innocent SAS protesters while protesting with flag, singing national anthem. And today, people are here. Nyanen of Pataenia. What that young woman did was the right thing. This is a man who calls himself a president. He has continued to threaten some set of people in the country because they ask for freedom. Not only that, he has continued to key men. Every threat he has given, he has always fulfilled. And such man don't deserve to be any president. So if a musician like Tenny refused to shake him during the time of award, that is a fight, a welcome development. And people at Dubai should learn from that. They are musicians, the Mugus. They call themselves musicians. Mugus, Mugus everywhere. All of them who went to that occasion to receive that award, who are musicians, are all Mugus, apart from that young woman. In fact, she is something. She is just like a Nash of Ivory Coast. The way they are dressing and everything, that's how they do. They run their tents. And uh, it's quite unfortunate that some of you who call yourself Igbo people are not here to learn. You think making money dubiously is what it's all about? That is not attainable. You will shine with the money, but time will come when you understand that uh, this is uh, not what it takes. Igbos are suffering in Nigeria because they ask for freedom. A president who calls himself a president should unite his people, make peace with his people, no matter how the three city it is. Ask them why. Why is this agitation? Okay, I will do this. Come to Rantem. But that man has not done that. Rather, he has continued to keep Martin and the Khan into a dungeon for no reason because he asked for freedom. Why he go on and on to release ter terrorists here and there, paying them ransom to acquire more weapons to come and kill people. And you call that staying a president? President, my foot! Enough is enough. I think I've come to the end of this news. Men bless. Cheers. Oh, hey. Jeffrey.